So let's say we get a 4, 3, 4 across. So what they like to do is this, and we'll put the three technique over here to this side. They got hip backers, okay? They've got four across, and they like to play a shade right here. And they'll put this backer either stacked right there or back in the backside A gap, okay? And they'll put, let's use the safety. So now we're in a balanced formation. Well, you look over here to the field. Well, a lot of people think that the toughest guy to handle is the five technique or the edge rusher. Well, in our offense, it's really not. It's the three technique is the one that's hard. Now, we can run the midline, which I'll talk about here in a minute. But if we run, we got a shade and a three. Well, it's going to be a little difficult to run the triple option over here. Let the B-back read the first down line inside the quarterback's read because we got a one, two, three count here. And we got a one, two, three count over here. Okay? Because unless we're just better than them, we're going to have a hard time having enough area for the B-back. If they make us hand the ball off, which remember I said a five technique to a three technique side never squeezes as hard as a five technique to an A-back, to an A-gap player side. Never does, never, okay? So that's a little bit more difficult. So usually the side to run the triple is over here. Well, we first started saying we had to run the triple over here, the A-back we have to arc. You can also crack it if you want to, if you don't have good arc blockers. So we got to read one, pitch off two. We got the possibility of an area read where one takes the dive, two, two, they can have a cross charge, one takes the dive, two takes the quarterback, two takes the dive, one takes the quarterback. Okay, you can have that. What we first started off was we would double the nose and we would send the tackle inside for the backer. Okay, but what they started doing, they started squeezing so hard, they play a deep middle linebacker, and he's running so hard that the tackle squeezes, the five technique squeezes so hard that we're wasting him. Okay, we could either scoot the backside or we could vertically slip the backside on the, on the backside. That would be a slip call right there. So what we did, a couple, ways, a couple ways you can handle this is we tell the center to tee the nose guard like it's, like it's a zone dive. So the center comes off and puts his hat down the middle, take a six inch step, 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 step his outside foot. We tell the guard to step straight off the ball with his inside foot. He can't step straight off the ball with his outside foot. Straight off the ball with his inside foot. The B-back's running the mesh. Okay, you can arc it or crack it out here. Okay, so now we tell the tackle. You gotta watch out for a chop block. We do not encourage chop blocks, we don't teach chop blocks. You tell the tackle to aim one foot behind the nose guard's butt. And you tell them both to stay high. Do not get low. So what happens is you create a, a way for the, line, for the guard to have a free release on the linebacker and also double the nose at the same time. It's kind of odd, it's kind of weird but we would call deuce, and that tells the guard to go straight off. Now, if they cover the note, if they move the shade out to a two eye, which is what we want them to do anyway, then we're back in business. We can run the ball to the field. But if they have a shade and a five, a shade and a three, we're going to have a hard time running over here and let the first quarterback, let the B back read the first down line beside the quarterback's read. So we either got an old timey combo here to the field. Okay, now if we, knock, we can knock the guy off the ball, fine. Or we can attack the A-gap side because it's a, it's a three count both sides and we can call deuce. Okay, and that'll send the play side guard straight off for the backer. He's got him wherever he goes. Okay, then he goes one, his aiming point, when he steps one foot behind the nose guard's butt and the center tees the nose, both of them have to stay high. Now you get a nice clear read, you're basically you're basically doing the same thing you want to do with an ace and a beer in, except now you just swap these two guys up. You wouldn't think it would work, but I got film on it, and it works very, very effectively. 